for the headlines, a road to recovery after Typhoon Yolanda swept Central Philippines. The quarrel between China and Chinese Taipei Group has started to interfere. Rice importation in Philippines may stop and start to export staple food. EJUBN clubs back at Petafa over inconstant allegations. Philippines rumbled as Taylor Swift released her newly recorded album Red, Taylor's version. I am from Youth Network Center. This is Youth News. The truth, the voice of masses. Good day, Luzon, Visayas, Mindanao. A look at the recovery efforts more than half a year after Typhoon Yolanda swept the Central Philippines. The typhoon has brought unimaginable damage to people and properties in the Philippines. Recovery efforts are still underway. For more information, here's Mabel Mihantras. Mabel? On November 8, 2013, Yolanda hit the Philippines with winds of 195 miles per hour and has been described as the strongest tropical cyclone to make landfall in recorded history. The Philippine National Disaster Risk Reduction and Management Council revealed in a report last April that Yolanda affected more than 16 million people in the different parts of the Visayas and Caragan region. Some 890,000 families were reportedly displayed. Yolanda killed 6,300 people, injured more than 28,000, while more than 1,000 people are still reported missing. The total cost of damage is estimated at more than 89.5 billion pesos. The quarrel and disagreement in the land between China and Chinese Taipei grew as the United States of America started to appear strong support towards Taiwan. For international news, here's Jovic Lada. Jovic? Although the U.S. is Taiwan's most significant partner, the official policy of the U.S. Department of State that there is one but China and Taiwan is part of China and that the United States does not support Taiwan independence. The widespread refusal to recognize Taiwan is a demonstration of the economic might of China. Yet, despite the United States' official policy in Taiwan, in October 2020, the U.S. government again approved selling $1.8 billion of worth of military weaponry to the government of Taiwan to strengthen it against a potential attack from China. I will never say back what my words are. I and Washington will remain committed to supporting a country that can defend itself. The Pentagon chief also said that China is vocal about its aim to displace America in its global leadership role. The United States doesn't seek conflict nor confrontation but a straight talk between two countries, the chief also stated. It looks a lot like them exploring their true capabilities. It looks a lot like rehearsals. Economic, diplomatic, military, and technological power to mount a sustainable challenge to a stable and open international system. For Youth News, I am Jovic Benting Rata. Next, rise importation in Philippines may stop and start to export staple food. EJ Ubiana clubs back at Petafa over inconstant allegation. Philippines rumbled as Taylor Swift released her new re recorded album Red, Taylor's version. Youth News will be back. According to the Department of Health, more than 35 million Filipinos are now fully vaccinated. And the. Dude, are you already vaccinated? No, I don't want to get vaccinated. Huh? I might become a zombie after two years. What? Are you insane? Folks, you will not become a zombie if you get vaccinated. The vaccine will protect us from COVID-19. Not only for you, but also for everyone around you. Vaccination will slowly lead us to normal life again. So, what are you waiting for? Go to the nearest clinic and get vaccinated. I think that changed my mind. That's good. Let's go to the center and get vaccinated. The Philippines may 
finally stop rice importation and instead export the staple food in 2014. This optimism is based on a record high rice production. For more information, we trade million metric dollars for 2012-2013 target of 20 million metric dollars will obtain rice self-sufficiency for the country. This means rice importation will range from 100,000 to 150,000 metric dollars for this year. By 2014, importation of the country's major staple will stop. Rice is included in the overall food staple sufficiency program of the Department of Agriculture led by Secretary Akala. Another piece of good news, for the first time, the Philippines will export special varieties of rice to several countries in Asia, the Middle East, Europe, and North America. This variety are organic and healthy. The demand finds the global market is on. The of Vienna collapsed back at Patafa over inconstant allegations during funding raw. Obiena condemns the accusations of an association of Filipino athletes entrusted to him relating to payments for his Ukrainian coach. For more information, here's Jovic Rada. Jovic. The Philippine Athletics Track and Field Association, or PATAFA, previously conducted an investigation into Obiana over his alleged unpaid fees to Mr. Vitaly Petrov, according to an inquiry report last Sunday, November 21. The report also said that Patafa made his accusations against Sabiana through a letter. It appears that he falsified the liquidation submitted to the Patafa and failed to pay the coaching fees of Mr. Vitaly Petrov in the total amount of 85,000 euros, the association was quoted as saying. When I read their notice, it said it's failed to pay a coaching fee to Vitaly Petrov, but their allegations are all fake. Honestly, because we both know of Vitaly, in press conference, the truth. For you, Smart News Update, I'm Jovic Benting Rada. Elephants are one of the few mammals that can jump. Have you ever seen an elephant jump? Probably not. Christian Velasco for Youth Science Facts. Rochelle. Catch their prey, and some animals jump to get away from a predator. Some animals just jump because they can, and some animals jump for joy. And yes, elephants are one of the few mammals that can jump. Elephants are highly intelligent animals. They have many admirable qualities, awareness of death, having an excellent sense of smell, being a land mama that has the largest brain and having complex social lives. But perhaps unsurprisingly, they can't jump. Grown elephants are usually 11 feet tall and weigh about 5,800 kilograms. They are the world's largest land animals. The reason they can jump is because of their gigantic size. Also, the bones in elephant legs are all pointed downwards, which means they don't have the spring required to push off the ground. Elephants keep themselves safe in other ways, relying on their trunk to protect themselves. They make extremely loud rumbles. The sound measured is around 105 decibels. Yet most commonly, elephants can defend themselves and can hurt any animal that attacks them by trampling them or hitting them with their large tusks. I hope you have learned something new today. Always remember, never stop learning because life never stops teaching. I'm Rochelle May Velasco and this is Youth Science Facts. Back to the studio! The Philippines rumbled as Taylor Swift released her newly recorded album Red, Taylor's version, on November 12. Some local celebrities specify themselves as the Swifty as they support Taylor. Lysandra Baldiviano is here for more information. Lee? Taylor released her highly anticipated pre-recorded version of Red. Kim Chu, one of the known artists here in the Philippines, stated that she is very excited about Taylor's newly released album, that she barely ages to see it. Even Robbie Domingo, 
a host in the country's most famous Pinoy Big Brother, said that she was very delighted to see his idol's breath. Taylor's version. The community gave their full support throughout the album's release and said that it was a big help to ease their stress. The album and even all too well 10 minutes version climbed straight to number one in different music charts. Here's Ibn Ibanal to interview some staff in ASAP to talk about what they feel about the album. I am here tonight in ASAP to interview Miss Joanna about her opinion on Red Taylor's version. Miss Joanna, what do you think about Taylor's new release to album? It was great, of course. Taylor has been my idol since started in my late years. You know what? I watched the Red Tour and Love Story and Mean were one of my favorite songs that she performed. That's nice, Miss Joanna. Thank you so much. The singer-songwriter staged her Red Tour concert in Manila last 2014. What do you guys think will be the next album to re-record? It is the top star for this hour, The Truth and Voice of Masses. I am Luigi San from A.V. Valdiviano, reporting from Youth Network Center. I'm pretty sure it's big now. Anyways, continuous cold weather will be experienced nationwide because of the Northeast Monsoon. Here is Princess Reliores for weather news update. Princess? In Baguio City, the temperature drops at 11.8 degrees Celsius, 16.6 degrees Celsius in Vasco Batanes, 18.4 degrees Celsius in Casiguran, Aurora, and 21.0 degrees Celsius in Quezon City. According to Pag-asa, these are the lowest temperature records so far during the Northeast Monsoon or Amihan weather. In Mindanao, heavy rain caused floods in few areas. Almost zero visibility happened in Coronadal City because of heavy rain. According to Pag-asa, there are low chances of rain due to Amihan and localized thunderstorms. Morning rains are possible in Cagayan Valley, Aurora, Quezon, Mindoro, Samar, Negros Islands, Northern Mindanao, and Caraga region. While afternoon rains are possible in the rest areas of Mindanao. And in Metro Manila, the chances of rain are very low. I'm Princess Janeline Buralioras. That's my youth weather update for today. It's so cold. The Christmas is really coming. Now I want coffee. Me too. Let's end this. And that's all for today's Youth News Update. I'm Isaiah Mika Santiago. And I am John Raver Cruz. This is Youth News. Serving you the latest issues. Excellent information. The truth. The Voice of Masses.